Hello guys, this is God Sense here of Sent Farms and I want to welcome you to today's video. Uh, today's video I promise is going to be a lighting, you're going to like it and you're going to learn a lot from today's video. Is your dog giving you a tough time mating? Uh, she doesn't want to get mated. Uh, in rabbit farming, you don't want to waste much time. Uh, in cases where you have a stubborn dog that refuses to get mated or refuses to get pregnant, uh, here is a solution for you to, to mate her successfully. And on this video, I'm going to share with you how you're going to force mate Daddy your dog. Mabo. Look at it there, look at it right there. Yeah, as I was saying, on this video, I'm going to share with you how you're going to cosmate that stubborn dough of yours that refused to be mated. And um, the steps that you're going to take, uh, how you're going to do it, uh, I'll show you right after this time out. So sit back, as relax as we get right into this video after this short break. See you soon. welcome back guys now for the purpose of uh, showing you guys how to forsmit your dough I'm going to be using this dough as an example I'm going to be using this dough as an example and for the purpose of clarity let me just see if she's going to no she's not pregnant let's see if she's going to allow the buck sometimes uh, you want to try to to carry out your mating early in the morning or late at night when the weather is cool they are more receptive at that uh, uh, period of the day but uh, for the purpose of uh, this this video um, you can see the sun is still out and she's not even allowing the buck she's not raising her tail for the buck to to mount so i would say we have a very good specimen for this video uh, this is to show that she is not mateable right away but uh, carrying out this uh, practice i'm going to show you guys how how you're going to uh, do her the process the steps you're going to take to make a mating happen <coughs> So, guys, this is the book. This is the dough that I want to use for the purpose of this uh, first mating experiment. And what you need, see, I have it right here. This is the the material that you use to to carry out the process. Now, what you want to do with this rope? This is a shoelace. You can use any any rope. Some farmers do use a, a rubber band, but I find uh, I find using the shoelace very easy. It's what works for me, and it's very easy for me to to maneuver. So what you want to do, you get to the middle, and then you tie a knot in the middle. You can see it. There's a knot in the middle. And then what you do with this knot is that you pass it around her tail. 
this is the tail you pass it around the tail and then you you draw it tight you just draw it tight one knot is enough you draw it tight when it's tight you see my hands you pass it down to her back side you can see it's it's raising the tail and it's exposing you can see it's raising the tail and it's exposing the the vulva which will make it easy for the buck to penetrate so how you're gonna tie this to make it stable you pass this one the one on the left you pass it to the right side then the one on the left uh, the one on the right you pass it to the left side the one on the right you pass it to the left side making a cross and then you take it down in between her thigh you pass pass through in between her thigh under her stomach comes out on the other side vice versa you can see it draw it firm but not too tight so that you don't you don't suffocate her draw it firm and then you give it a good tie on the top of her back you want to make this a little bit firm but not too tight so that you don't suffocate her so you want to tie it again You want to tie it again to make it firm and once it's done you can see our vulva is exposed even when she doesn't want to raise raise her backside for the buck it remains exposed so you just take her now in this in this form just introduce her to the buck so guys let's go and see if this will work has always worked out for me but i just want to show you guys you just want to drop her with a buck and that is it that is the fall off this was the same dude that refused to meet in the earlier part of this video we just got some more successful fall offs so uh, as usual here in scent farms you just have to take her away from the the buck for some time a couple of minutes then we introduce her to the buck he will mount again and then going for three successful follow-ups you can call it a successful mating then what you just do you just lose lose off the the rope that's after the third the third fall off you just free her up and uh, with her four it's really easy for the rope the knots to to come out it's gonna be easy for the knots to to come off the tail coming out and that is it see it it's out already so guys that is the simple step on how you can solve uh, the issue of a stubborn doe that refuses to meet in your farm uh, uh, look out for more of exciting and educating videos to make your farm experience uh, a very sweet one and um, with all this hack uh, there will be no dough lying uh, useless. Yeah, let me say useless. there will be no dough lying in your farm that is not productive except she has uh, a reproductive organ uh, disease or disorder so if your dough is well doing or just refuses to meet or just refuses to be mated by the buck this is how you solve that problem in your farm so that is it for uh for smitting your 
your dough in your farm and um stick to scent farms if you this is your first time of branching this channel please do well to subscribe and watch out for more exciting and educating videos like this one from scent farms uh, as you grow your farms with scent farms peace out see you in the next video cheers